We now want to formally define what the Voronoi cells, what the Voronoi edges, and what the Voronoi vertices are. So let's say we have a set of points P in the plane, and we take three points of it, P, P prime, and P double prime. And we want to define the parts of the Voronoi diagram in terms of these three points. So a Voronoi region, that is the region that is closest to this point P, so this is defined by just a single point. This is also called a Voronoi cell. So the Voronoi cell of a single point P is defined as the set of all points in the plane where the distance to P is smaller than the distance to all other points of this set. So this is exactly the green points here. And this always exists for every point. So at least the point itself has to lie in its own very Voronoi cell. So this cannot be empty. And the cell, that one, we can define similarly to what we did for the two-point case. In the two-point case, we found the bisector between two points and that gave us exactly the region or the cell of each of these points. Now if we do the same for all pairs of points, we find the half plane that is closer to P than to another point Q that is defined by all the points that lie on its side of the bisection. And then we intersect all of these. Then we get exactly the cell. Because for every other point, if a point lies inside this half plane, then it's closer to P than to the other one. If we intersect them, then it's closer to P than to every other point. So we get exactly the Voronoi cell. What about a Voronoi edge? So one part of the boundary here, that we have to define by a two points. This is an edge between the Voronoi cell of P and the Voronoi cell of P prime. And this is exactly the points that have the same distance to P and P prime, but also there is no other point that is closer. So for we cannot en enhance this to here. This point here would also have the same distance to P and P prime, but it actually lies in the Voronoi cell of P double prime, because that one is closer. So this is exactly all the points where P and P prime are the two closest points of the point set, and no other one is. And we can find that by intersecting the boundaries of the Voronoi cells. We take the Voronoi cell of P, we look at what is at the boundary, the Voronoi cell of P prime, what is at the boundary, and what do they share. That gives us the Voronoi edge. With one exception, we don't want to have the ends of the segment. And we only want to have the relative interior of this intersection. Because the endpoints that are our Voronoi vertices. And a Voronoi vertex is defined by a three points. P, P prime, and P double prime. So this is where the boundary of the Voronoi cell of P and of P prime and of P double prime meet. So this point actually has three closest points in our point set. P and P prime and P double prime have the same distance from it. So we can define it the same way as the edges, but with three points instead of two. There is no other point that is closer. Except with one difference than before. Here we have had to make sure that there is no other point that's closer or just as close. Because if there is a third point that's just as close, then we are at a vertex again. But at a Voronoi vertex, it could be that many points have the same distance. For example, imagine that all your points lie on a circle, and then if you take the center of the circle, then it has the same distance to all the points. So then this would be a Voronoi vertex with a high complexity because it's defined by every triple of input points. So that means the Voronoi diagram of P is a subdivision of the plane and it also is a geometric graph because these vertices and edges that we have that describe a geometric graph for us. And the cells then are just the faces that are defined by the boundaries implied by the vertices and edges.